Good morning, everyone. I'll give it a few minutes for folks to hop on and get notified. I'm going to make this pretty card today. So while everyone's hopping on and this is recording, we'll go through my specials um, for this week up until the 22nd. Hi, Joan. Good morning. If you place a $50 order, I will send you a pack of the beautiful, these gorgeous doilies, heart and home doilies. If you go to $100, I will add in the classic matte dots, plus then the two free card kits for the month. And you'll get to pick celebration items up until the 28th of this month, and then they're gone. They're all gone. Hi, Janie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Jean. Hi, Joan. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. I hope you're feeling well. Hi, Mary. Thank you for sharing, Jean. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Judith. Good morning. We've made some pretty cards already with this um, ladybug bundle. And we made bees. So cute. Today we're going to go into the magenta madness. Hi, Jill. I try to make a nice array of color. Hi, Susan. I really try to make a really nice array of color. This is Pool Party, um, Daffodil Delight, and then Magenta Madness right there. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Beverly. Good morning. This is my host code for the month of February, if you'll use that. That will prompt me then to send you those wonderful gifts that I offer every week. Every week my specials change, so you'll want to sign up for my email list. And that is wonderful. I also now have a website. That'll be down here um, or over on my YouTube channel. Also below in the show, just click the show more and it'll drop a box down and you'll see that. Um, and in my website, I have a little store. So I'm selling my uh, PDFs from past classes for $5. Usually when I do a class, oh, thanks, Kelly. <clears throat> Usually when I do a class, I um, offer the videos and PDFs for $15. The video is $10, the PDF is five. So now I'm offering just the PDFs um, in this little store through Constant Contact that um, I was uh, looking for this in Constant Contact and found it and it came with my subscription. Um, so I was really happy to do that, but you can um, purchase the uh, old PDFs for $5. There'll also be other things added to the store. I'm just now starting it. I'm really excited about it because I designed it, which was, it's very simple. It's very, very simple, and, but um, I was really excited to be able to do something like that. So, um, oh, thanks, Carrie. And uh, so, yeah, so, uh, but you know, my classes have to go out first and everybody gets their class, everybody gets their videos and PDFs, my team gets theirs, and then it'll be like the next month, I think, that then I will put in the, um, <clears throat> the PDFs. But there's also gonna be other things in the store. You know how I make sets of these cards? Like um, this will become a set of four. I might go ahead and start selling something like that. Uh, so um, I just, I have to think about it so, um, first, but I thought I'd start with, with what I had and um, work up from there. So that's a lot, it's a lot of fun, right? Okay, so uh, first, oh, I love this card. I absolutely am in love with this card because two, we added those gold butterflies, which just made it look so wonderful. So this one we made on Sunday. Yesterday we did this one and this is completely punch art right here. Everything we did was punched out. Okay, well, except for, you know, the DSP is just cut, but um, all of this right here is punched out. And um, one of my downlines also did this. Until you started the ladybug stuff, I didn't care about it, but now I have to have it. I know, it's just too cute. Uh, you know, sometimes, and this even goes, hi, Donna. This even goes with the, um, uh, what is that other little punch? The um, hedgehog, 
okay? Um, you know, sometimes you look at, you're like, oh yeah, that's really cute, but what am I going to do with it? The thing to do with these uh, bundles that have the punches in them is to bring in other items with it, other parts of your crafting room, other parts of your uh, stamp sets, dies, and um, really, you know, this this was definitely thinking outside the box on this one. Um, who, you know, I saw many many pictures of these, so uh, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, I like to bring in other other things. Like here, we brought in the cloud punch. I'm using the sunshine and rainbows. We did different colors on the wings, just kind of fun, right? I love this. I just love it in Bermuda Bay. I just love the little ladybug in Bermuda Bay. So cute, right? So there was that card. Now today we're going to make this one. I use this hive embossing folder. You guys are going to love this embossing folder if you don't already have it. Look at this. Look at the dimension in there. It's a 3D embossing folder. Um, and But then look at the side too. You know, you could use either side. Hi, Mary. Thanks for sharing. So that's just a lot of fun, but we're going to use this side up, okay, because um, I wanted it to look, I don't know, I thought the, the little ladybugs look good with that side up, like the honeycombs, like that. I used some Stitch So Sweetly dies, some circle dies, and today we're going to make the flower. So let's go ahead and oh, look at how pretty that is. I love that. I love that. So pretty. I love that flower. I forgot to put that on a, um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh my goodness, even Sunday. Um, but I forgot to show my happy mail. Let's look at my happy mail. This came for Valentine's Day. Look how stinking cute this is. This is from Patty. And um, she's, hey Steve. Um, so, isn't that cute? I loved these, these uh, ladybugs. I love that set. Her hearts are beautiful. These are embossed. Isn't that pretty? And now I got this one from um, Brenda. Whoop, didn't mean to show that. Okay. And so that is just so cute. Thank you so much. And let's see, who's this one from? This is from Sharon. Beautiful, look at that pretty flower. Little Wink of Stella on there. Cute, right? She used a DSP, love that. So I still have my envelopes with everything. This is from Betty, one of my customers. She sent me a Valentine's. Look how she made these envelopes out of vellum. Isn't that cute? Hey, everybody, Steve's having a birthday on the 23rd. That is so cute. And now this one is from one of my downlines. So cute, right? Kelly, she's on here this morning. Thank you so much. Look at this coloring in here, and I love the kitty. That is just so sweet. Absolutely. Just really, really sweet. Look at that little envelope. I, absolutely adorable. What a cute little face though, right? And then this card is from Paula Avion. A lot of times we see her on here. How cute. Just cute. I love this. I love the check. I know, right? Happy birthday, Steve. How funny, Lynn. I know, right? Oh my goodness. So I had to show my happy mail. I totally forgot to show it the other day. And um, I'm really, I really appreciate every one of you thinking about me. That's very, very sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and start to um, get this card together. So right here, it's going to be, it's a good day. And I didn't even bring that stamp out. Where's my mind last night? It was on, I think, I forget what I was watching. Watching something. Um, okay, it's a good day. We're going to do that in Magenta Madness. Now, if you love these colors, the Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, Bumblebee, all of that, can you believe I'm talking to you about those colors retiring? So you'll want to stock up on those. I know, right? Yeah, his birthday is the 23rd. So I'm going to stamp. It's a good day right here. In my, um, I, I'm layering these Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is Granny Apple Green and Basic White. So cute. But I thought it was so cute. I hope, don't come after you. Ah, Kelly, that's, oh no, it's an absolutely, any, any card is, any card is beautiful. You craft with what you want to craft with. 
I love all those cards. Really great job. I know, right? They did a great job. Fantastic job. Um, if you are on my team and on here and doing the card swap, um, you know, we delayed it a little bit because Lynn um, ha had become ill um, until uh, March. Hi, Carol. But um, go ahead and make 11. I think we're going to have one more person. Um, but she is checking, uh, make sh making sure that she is uh, getting her work schedule together. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of this while I've got it. Uh, so, but go ahead and make 11 for the card swap. I'll announce that on um, my Happy Crafting Corner. I typed it there, but um, when I do the video today for us, uh, I will um, announce that also. Nice to see you, Carol. Okay, let's see. So we made our little um, embellishment right here. It's a good day. Just layering our Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I put the two little, hi Patricia, um, uh, dimensionals on the back. Let's go ahead. Now I'm gonna use these circle dies. And so this is granny apple green and it's the big circle and then one to fit in it, but not all the way to the edge of the scallop. You know how we have them to where you only see like a teensy teensy bit of the scallop. I wanted to see a little bit more of that. And um, I'm gonna get a piece of scrap paper. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp this leaf just in case I come off of here. I'm gonna use my granny apple green. I just re-inked it. It seemed to work out pretty well. Hi, Patricia. So let's go ahead and see how we did here. This is really gonna be vibrant. It really fits right in this circle perfectly, but I just wanna make sure just in case I was off a little bit, which would have been fine. But I'm gonna put our leaf right in here. Oh, cute. Oh, that came a little bubbly, didn't it? See, maybe that will e equal out. We'll just leave it, it's good. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and stamp our, um, uh, that's probably because of the ink and me re-inking. I should have probably stamped it off and then it's okay, really. Good to be here. Have to run, but we'll catch replay. Okay, great, Carol. Wonderful. Good to see you. So now let's go ahead and stamp some flowers here. And I love this flower because it fits with the medium punch. And I'm going to do this in So Saffron. Oop. Oh, am I just going to have trouble today? Because we'll just... <laughs> Don't even... Wait a minute. <laughs> How funny. Let's not... Okay. Let's not just have trouble, right? There we go. At least I think I did it in So Saffron. Let me see. I might have done it in Daffodil Delight. Let me see if this is dark enough. Re-inking is my least favorite thing. I agree. Oh yeah, that's too light. Let me do Daffodil Delight. Let me get that. I couldn't think last night. I was like, did I do that in So Saffron or what color? So let's go ahead and use side two here. And let's, let me clean this. And let's get... I, I, that leaf does remind me of a lily pad, Lynn. That is so true. Daffodil Delight right here. Oh, yeah, that's it. And then I'm, I want two, okay? I also want to punch out my, um, my little ladybug body right here. And I'm going to put that right here on the end. And we're going to do that in Memento Black Ink. You know how when you start your day and it's just not going right. Hi, Marilyn. You know, it's best just to curl up in the recliner and watch TV. You know, one of those days. So, <laughs> and I really, honest to goodness, guys, I don't have time right now for that. I'm just busy because somebody said yesterday, Joanne, why don't you do a slimline class? Okay. So, yeah, I have like all kinds of ideas in my head. I, I've had to get through a few things first here, and then I can uh, progress to that. Um, but that's going to happen. Let's get uh, the little wings here, right here. And let's do these in Magenta Madness. Ink that up. And I'm going to put them like this because, see, when we orientate to the punch, hopefully I'm going the right way here. Who knows? If not, we'll cut it. It's all good. 
So right there. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Such a pretty color. And now the dots, her dots in black. Love this. And just hover over this until you do not see any white. At least try to. Oh, it came out really good. That came out really well. Okay, great. Awesome. Awesome. I was worried. I was seriously worried about that. Okay. That's good. Because sometimes, you know, on camera, you're behind it and you're trying to, yeah, get it right. <laughs> and then you're just messing up what you've got going on. Okay, so now I use the medium punch. Look at this, how pretty. Hi, Diane. Look how pretty that comes. So I'm going to use this medium punch. I'm going to line up that little uh, thing in the middle of the flower in the center of this punch. And you're going to get, there's not going to be, oh, definitely little black felt dots. Listen to the cat, okay? Ugh. There we go. There's one. And see, you're not going to get any kind of a white border. It's just going to be, hang on. Hi, Julie. <laughs> I had to shut the door. Um, thanks for joining, uh, Julie. So this is just going to punch out right here in the ink. Just like that. Hi, Lisa. I think it's your guys' first time maybe watching me. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. So look how cute that is. And now we're going to layer these on top. Oh, you got your magnetic board kit yesterday in huge box. Can't wait to put it together. Oh, I cannot wait to get that. I know mine has shipped and um, I am just like, I'm going to put a glue dot here and then we're going to alternate. Carrie said she got, did you say is the uh, medium, right? Yeah, it's not that large one. It's the medium medium flower punch, right? It's on page 150. Um, but Carrie, you got yours. Um, I'm going to put it together live. So, and I've only got one. So I'm like, okay, you've got to get this right. So then right here, we're going to alternate those petals and make a nice thick flower in that pretty little daisy. Now, right in here, I'm just going to use these three little dots in granny apple green. And we'll put them right in here cute okay and then on the back here we're going to put it stick a dimensional i'm excited oh hey peggy no didn't miss me yet <laughs> but you know you can always watch the replay no big deal so i'm going to put my flower over here let's go ahead and punch out our um ladybug because we stamped her today Oh, you don't have to wait for me, Carrie. You go right ahead. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to do it live, uh, and yeah. So, and I don't have like um, a second chance, you know, because I only ordered one. So, but I love them so much. I'm really going. I'm gonna get my kids each one. Would love to see how you decorate yours. I'm leaning toward getting one. Uh, very, very cute. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it is just adorable. I'll show you the picture. And I saw the video, and there's no inking at all. I'm going to punch these out. Look how cute they came. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, in all of the cards that I've done, I try to use every bit. Okay, so here we I did the little body here with the wings that are tone on tone. This is soft sea foam with soft sea foam ink. Bermuda Bay with Bermuda Bay ink. This card, we, of course, totally made it different. The little um, body is uh, basic black, and here it is um, Daffodil Delight, and then I did my stripes. So, um, oh, Mary's getting her magnet board today. I can't wait. I, yeah, I, I can't wait. I thought it was a really great product. I really did. Um, so, and then here we did this with, with that. Now, today, we're stamping, and we're putting her together like this. So I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow here on her wings. And that goes right, it fits right there at the neck. So cute. Hi, Sue. I discovered something about the ladybug. The red and black layers actually shield the wings of a ladybug. 
the red and black layers. The red and black layers actually shield the wing of the ladybug. Oh, of a, oh, okay, not of this, of this, okay, of like a live ladybug. That's what they do. I never knew that. So cute. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's go ahead and um, let's use, uh, let's get the inside of the card going on here. So this is Granny Apple Green. And it is, let's see, five by three and three quarter. And then I used two of these Stitch So Sweetly dies. So I brought in my pink and my green. You know I love pink and green, right? But I thought this looked plain, okay? So let's bring this in and, and this right here. And now we're going to get our big leaf. And we're going to make our own DSP in the background. And again, this is brand new ink. So we're gonna do the best we can, but it's gonna be vibrant, you know? It's gonna be dark. Ooh, that looks great, actually. Okay, wonderful, I'm happy with that. And I'm just gonna stamp these everywhere, just making a, a nice little background here. And just like coming in there, and I'll just like bring the tip in right here. And let's bring this in right here. And then I'll bring a side in here. And I'll put the little tip of it here. Okay, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Kathy. Thank you for joining. I think you're new also to my channel. Thank you so much. I have like three new people on here today. Thank you. Look how cute that is. Isn't that pretty? Boy, that granny apple green is something. Okay, so now we have the base of the card, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It opens like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to the inside. Just like that, that is just, I love that, just like that, right? Now, I use Tombow, you can use any glue that you like. I just like my wiggle room. So right here. Cute. Okay, and we're gonna let this sit to the side for just a second. And then we'll bring in our, um, again, these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I just layered, you know, dies. So it was just fun. May your greatest wish come true in Granny Apple Green right here. I'll put it up in this corner. I'll pull this down so I could see it a little bit better. Perfect, oh, isn't that pretty? Yes. Let's see. Peggy says, and it's the, the wings open. Oh, wow. That is awesome. You know, the, I, I don't know about things like that, you know, but I think that's kind of fun to learn um, different facts about certain anything, flowers, little insects. Now I'm going to stamp these flowers down here in this corner. Just kind of little things that you would never think to learn, but all of a sudden now you know it, right? And we're gonna put that right on there. And this is Magenta Madness. And we're gonna layer that here. Just like that. Now we're gonna bring the card base in and we're gonna layer that right in there. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love pink and green. I decided yesterday the reason why I like, I like pink and green is because it's spring here. The dogwoods and everything. Thank you for sharing, Donna. The dogwoods blooming and the white and the pink and all the greenery, it's just beautiful. Spring's like my favorite season. Maybe summer is, but it's definitely spring and summer. Look how pretty the inside of that card is. Okay, let's go ahead and attach our hive. Now, you can put this on this way with the bubbles up or the, um, you know, like the hexagon little hives down. And I want them down because I really like that. I really like that look. So this curls a little bit going through the machine. So you definitely want to use a really, really good adhesive. Like I said, I like to use my Tombow. I really want to get this to the 
outside of this to hold it down. A little bit more glue on there because of it being um, embossed. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down on the front of the card and have that nice pretty white border, nice crisp clean white border. And I'm just gonna hold this and then we'll start to decorate. Oh, I gotta put my leaf together. There we go. Okay, let's put this together right here. So I stamp my leaf and I'm just going to put it on my other circle here that's scalloped. Remember, um, with a circle, you oh, it's always straight, okay? Because you just have to turn it to make it straight. So that's really easy, especially for new crafters. That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead. I want this to stick down a little bit better there before I stick everything on there. Let that glue it here really well. Okay. All right, let's put It's a Good Day up in the corner right up here okay and now let's go ahead and put our little medallion here on here and three dimensionals are fine with this and we'll put this right here and i'm just going to put it at a little bit of an angle hi patsy thank you for joining right here and now um, let's go ahead and attach, actually let's move this aside and let's get our envelope completed. So I wanna put my big green leaf on the outside of my envelope, right here. And then on the back, oh, look how pretty that is. Oof, I love that. I love Granny Apple Green. Um, let me clean this flower on my scrub. And on the back here, we're going to do some magenta madness. And we're going to take it the first generation of the ink. Then we're going to move the flower to go into every little space that's white. Okay, turn it. Keep the center in the center. It's going to be so pretty. And stamp. This is the second generation of the ink. Oh, I love that. Look how pretty that, I love that. Came out so cute, right? So that's a cool envelope. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and bring this back in. I was waiting for, okay, yeah, this is good and dry. I didn't know if I needed to add more um, glue. <laughs> so, <clears throat> This is so adorable, you know, and uh, so Lynn's saying another set in the catalog that doesn't do it justice. It's true, you know, um, I just happen to like ladybugs, and so uh, it didn't matter. I was getting this set anyway, um, but yes, it's true. It just um, is, is something to work with a little bit. Now, I'm going to have the ladybug coming down here, and the catalog, like she says, it doesn't do it justice. I'm going to just let that come down here, the antenna, the little wing kind of stick on my um, on my sentiment right there. And now let's add our pretty little flower right here. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, see you don't wanna come off the card, okay? I'm right to the edge, but we're good. Right there, okay, now let's add some rhinestones like it's dewy and everything is just so pretty. This is so pretty. I want to add a big one to the ladybug right there. She has to have a jewel, right? And then just some, get some little ones up here. Whoop, stuck right to my finger, didn't it? Right here. <laughs> we'll get another one. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess that doesn't have adhesive on the bottom of it. I'll have to check that out. Okay, and now we're gonna put one, um, let's get a medium on our leaf, and then a medium one maybe here. Yeah, right about there. One, two, three, four, five, yes. 
Odd numbers are always the best for your crafting. All right, here is our card for this morning. Isn't this cute? Oh my goodness, look at our ladybug. She just came out so pretty. And she's really having a lot of fun in her garden. <laughs> that is so pretty. And so remember, it's this little medium flower punch that goes with that flower. So um, it's on page 150 if you don't already have it. I know a lot of you already have it. Um, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh, my goodness. So I will be back on on Sunday. I don't know what we're going to do because if I get that magnet board, I'll just veer off from, you know, doing out, you know, I'll do something during the week. But if I get the magnet board before Sunday, I'm going to do that on Sunday. But if I don't, then, you know, we'll go into cards and then I'll get it during the week. So, oh, thank you, Judith. Thank you, Kelly. Look how pretty they are. What happy colors, right? So here's our cards for this week. And of course, I'm doing one for my team today. There's, you want me to show you? There's these cards. Let me show you. I've got to show you this one because I went just totally the opposite way on this one. My team will get this one. It's an easel card. Isn't that cute? So he went to the nursery and bought a bag. Oh, how funny. He released them on the roses and we never saw them again. Hysterical. How funny. That's funny. Oh my goodness, Carrie. That's funny. Yeah, so I'm going to do a video about that easel card for my team um today and if you would love to join my team i'd love to have you they get a video every week and they also get all of my card classes for free the videos and pdfs they also get those for free and i do a um a facebook live with them once a month on a friday evening i know you love your card i know it was just like a quick little glimpse but um i've got to do the video today all right i will see you guys on sunday at 7 p.m and um Please have a safe day and have a wonderful day. If you have time, go into your happy space and do some happy crafting, especially if you have this ladybug punch. These are some pretty, pretty cards to make, right? Nice and happy. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so, how funny. How funny, Carrie. I just love that. Yes, your cards are, are go your card is going to be really, really cute today. That uh, video will be cute. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and let's all get together on Sunday and do some happy crafting. Sunday at 7, live on Facebook. Thanks again.